Hey, camera. <laughs> I didn't get invited to the big party at the Green Hotel because Walter Hopps was mad at me. Why was that? Because his wife was in town, <laughs> basically. So he didn't invite me, and he wouldn't call me back. So what were you, Walter's uh, girlfriend or something? That's uh, right. <laughs> I was 20 years old. And so I decided that if I could create any vengeance, I would. Well, it was my idea, not Eve's. She always says it was her idea. Julian came up to me and he said he had this idea that I should play chess naked with Marcel Duchamp. And it seemed to be such a great idea that it was just like the best idea I'd ever heard in my life. I mean, it was, not only was it vengeance, it was art. And it was like a great idea. You know, it would be sort of immortalized. I would be the nude in the Pasadena Art Museum. So how did you come up with that idea? Well, I wanted to see her naked first. I thought Duchamp would like it. Why not? And then she came and talked to the family about it over the dinner table, all of us. And, you know, my father said, well, it's got, you're going to be completely naked. <laughs> and she said, yes, yes, ma'am. And he said, well, I guess it's definitely not porno <laughs> on account of its art, right? So we all agreed it was art and she could do it. It happened in the morning. Julian sets up lights for a million years, and I'm sitting there, like, nothing to do, smoking cigarettes. Like, 8.30, Duchamp shows up with this beautiful, like, you know, suit. We started playing chess. Julian said, okay, Eve, take that shirt off. Julian kicks that shirt, like, 30 feet away, so I have to be <laughs> I was concerned with the scene right in front of me, setting my camera up and shooting. You're at a loss for words. I thought Duchamp only spoke French. I had no idea he spoke English, so I tried to speak French to him. I just was basically like sweating and wish it was over. I wanted my cigarettes, I wanted my glasses. I wanted to, you know, I want my clothes. And so Marcel just took it in stride. Yeah, he beat me three times at Fool's Lane. I shot that in color, too. It's actually a better shot, but, you know, no, it's never been used anywhere. And also, I wanted that hair on my face. I didn't want my face to show up, but Julia kept saying, your face, your face, your face. I just had my hair cut the day before, so it would fall over my face for this occasion. I'm glad she covered her face in the in her choice, you know, because then it, you know, it isn't her. So Walter actually came in to yeah. see the, how it was going, <laughs> and, and he didn't even know you were there? No. Wow. Maybe I said, hello, Walter. He dropped his gun. Literally? Yeah. He always shoot double, but go. Um, so you won? Yeah. You didn't win a chess. No. But you won in terms of taking that's, control of the situation? That's right. I just went there with Eve, and we shot. That was it. Julian stayed up all night making clues. And the next day, Duchamp was leaving, so we got there before he left, and we showed him these pictures. And I showed him which one was the one I was going to allow out, in case he hadn't cared about my opinion. And I showed Duchamp which one I wanted. He let me choose. Well, I like the color one better, but this, this is the famous one, the black and white. Everybody in the world knows that shot. I think of it as a kind of a great piece of art. Yeah, it's a great piece of art. But I love that she, you know, did that to, to Chico, got back at him. But there must have been a higher... Uh... No, 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 nothing higher about it. It was sort of real low. 
Isn't it interesting? This, <laughs> this famous, this is actually one of the most famous photographs. I know, I know. And the, and the reasons is so bad. So bad. I had thrown my body in for art.